Hi everyone and welcome to Math Sucks. This video is going to help you pass the Geometry Common Core Regions. So we're doing this one question at a time. Here is question number six. In trapezoid ABCD below, AB is parallel to CD. So AB is parallel to CD. If AE equals 5.2 AC equals 11.7, so this entire thing equals 11.7. So if we subtract 11.7 minus 5.2, we know that this segment EC is going to be 6.5. And they also give us CD is equal to 10.5, so CD is 10.5. What is the length of AB? So we want to find this length up here, AB. To the nearest tenth. So, so this it looks like we're working with two triangles here. So we have this. Is, let's just call this x because we're, that's what we're trying to find. So we have these two triangles. So I'm just going to lightly shade the two triangles we're working with here. So we have this triangle and this triangle. So notice that they we have the value of each base, and then we have a value of the side. Well, and we're trying to find the value of this base actually. So so a rule about um, diagonals within um, a trapezoid is that they form similar triangles. So whenever we have similar triangles, we know that we um, we know that all the side lengths are in proportion to one another of the triangle. So knowing that we can set up a proportion and solve for x here. So if we take 6.5 right here and compare it to its other length, 10.5, the base we can say it is in proportion to 5.2, this length over here, AE, over this base, which we don't know, which is what we're trying to find. So then we can cross multiply, and we'll get 6.5x is equal to 5.2 times 10.5, which is, let's see. So we have, so we're doing 5.2 times 10.5. This is 54.6, divide 6.5 on both sides and we get x is equal to 8.4. So that's our answer for, for this question. On to question seven. Kayla was cutting right triangles from wood to use for an art project. Two of the right triangles she cut are shown below. If triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF with the right angles B and E, BC equals 15, and AC is 17, what is the measure of angle F to the nearest degree? So we were given, we know that these two are, are similar, which means they're gonna have equal angles. So if they wanna know angle F over here, we wanna find the corresponding angle in this triangle, because this triangle we have the numbers, the values that can give us the value for the angle. So the corresponding angle, if you notice, is right here at angle C. So that's what we're gonna be looking for when we solve this. So so to solve this, we'll just write out SOHCAHTOA and look for the values that we have. So in, in relation to this angle, we have 15, which is the adjacent, and 17 centimeters, which is the hypotenuse. So our two values that we have are the adjacent and the hypotenuse. So we know, if we look at our SOHCAHTOA here, we know that we're going to be finding the cosine. So we're gonna find the cosine of negative one of 15 adjacent over the hypotenuse, 17, is gonna give us our answer. So to get that, we're just gonna take out our calculator and make sure you're in degree mode for this. So I went to mode and I'm in degree mode. So we're gonna do cosine to the negative one. So we go second cosine 15 divided by 17. And this will give us 28 degrees. And that's our answer here. Yeah, because we don't have the value of the angle, which is what we're trying to find, we need to use this um, this little minus one sign. Question number eight. The line represented by 2y equals x plus one is dilated by a scale factor of k centered at the origin. So we know we're centered at the origin, such that the image of the line has an equation of y minus one half x equals two. What is the scale factor? So, so let's just get these both in y equals mx plus b form. So we start with two y equals x plus eight. So let's put this in order. So 
just divide out that 2 and we get y equals 1 half x plus 4. And then after the, the dilation, it now becomes this line, y minus 1 half x equals 2. So we just need to move this 1 half x to the other side, and when we do that we get y equals 1 half x plus 2. So, so because this is centered at the origin, and we have our numbers in order, we can easily just see that the y-intercept goes from being a 4 to being a 2. So we need to ask ourselves, how do you make a 4 or 2? What are you doing to that number? So you can think of it as we're dividing by 2, or you can realize that we're multiplying times 1 half. So the scale factor here is 1 half. For question number 9, in quadrilateral ABCD below, AB is parallel to CD, so A B is parallel to C, D, and E, H, and F are the midpoints of A, D, A, C, and B, C, respectively. If A, B equals 24, C, D equals 18, and A, H is 10, then F of H is, we want to find this value right here, so I'm just going to call that X. So remember, we know that um, this is the midpoint. So these are all midpoint. This is midpoint, this is midpoint, and this is a midpoint. So if 10 is on this side, we know 10 can be on this side also. So right away, we can look at this and realize that we're going to need to use the triangle mid-segment theorem. So if you look at this, let me shade this in to use the triangle mid-segment. So if we have this whole triangle, and then this is a mid-segment, so that means that this length is going to be half the base, which is down here, 24. So when we plug that in, half of 24 is 12, which is our answer. Need more practice? Check out mathsucks.org for more questions. Link below. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Happy calculating!